All right, welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. It's time for On Your Health. This is where we discuss important medical and health topics with the doctors of Florida Medical Clinic. They are the Bay Area's first clinic to merge both primary care physicians and specialists under one roof. And today we're discussing cardiovascular risk assessment, a group of tests and other indicators that help doctors understand how likely a patient is to experience heart disease. And here to explain is cardiologist Dr. Hal Applebaum from Florida Medical Clinic. Dr. Applebaum, welcome to Studio 10. Thank you. It's quite a thrill to be surrounded by all these entertainers and <laughs> beautiful studio. There's a, there's a dancer with a feather fan out there. And, and they almost could, needed an extra dancer, and I was and volunteering. And you volunteer. If you want to dance with the Russian, we do have Russian dancers on the show today. If you want to stay and dance, you are more than welcome. You know, it's, we're kind of here for you. Great. And dancing's good for the heart, right? <laughs> Great. Good Absolutely. cardiovascular. In fact, I thought this was a Zumba class today. <laughs> So you're, but, a, you're um, a lipidologist. When I hear lipids, I think proteins. What, is, what does that mean exactly? A that's cholesterol management. So I'm okay. extensively trained and certified in preventive cardiology. I treat cholesterol and hypertension. I am non-invasive. I stay pretty much in the office. And my job is to keep you out of the hospital. Oh, great. And now, a lot of those things are monitored these days uh, at a certain level by medications. But what are some of the ways that we can prevent even needing to be on medication for those, those purposes? Well, let me kind of set the stage, if you uh -huh. don't mind. And I brought these models along. And, of course, we're talking about the heart. Sure. And heart disease. And we want to prevent heart disease. We want to diagnose heart disease at its earliest stages so we can treat it aggressively and early. So first of all, heart disease is the number one killer in the world today and in the United States over a half a million people die every year and half of those die suddenly and unexpectedly without any warning and without a previous diagnosis. And you don't have to be a quote unquote senior to have a problem like this uh, happen to you. Right, no, absolutely not. And uh, there's a very strong genetic basis for this problem. There are very many young people. So one of the things I'll tell you in a minute after I show you the models here is that we're screening patients at age 40. And that's a strong national recommendation. So here's a picture of the heart because okay. that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it sits behind the breastbone slightly to the left and it's a pumping organ and it's beating 100,000 times a day. So if you look real closely, you see these arteries that sit on top. These are the coronary arteries. Okay. And, and that's the problem. The, and the coronary pro arteries. The coronary arteries. And so here's a coronary artery, and you can see it contains cholesterol plaque. Okay, now this is sort of progressively, this is a right. clean uh, uh, artery, and then it gets progressively worse. That's it's like right. it's a cross-section cross of, of a progressively deteriorating so, artery. You know, very important to realize is that it's this heart disease, this problem, and, a, and, a, and a, with its big genetic basis, starts at a young age in your teens. This is a 30 or 40 year process. Okay. So that's our challenge. Mm -hmm. Our challenge is to get it early by, you should, know, by screening. Does everybody have a little bit of fat in there all the time or should you just have none ideally? You should have none okay. ideally. Okay. So what we do is we want to screen the appropriate population. You know, should everyone come in for a screening looking for risk assessors or uh, risk indicators and the answer is no. So national guidelines recommend all men over the age of 40 and all women over the age of 50. Mm -hmm. And here's a, a patient We're getting screened right now. What is the screening process like, doctor? So they come into the office and they're evaluated and my expertise and my focus is that. Good history to get all this information, a physical exam that looks for all the signs like an earlobe crease or fatty deposits around the eyes mm -hmm. and you know there are other indicators as well um, and so uh, also a very important population of people who have to be screened and, and is independent of age are all diabetics having hypertension if you're obese sedentary family history of premature coronary disease having kidney disease, HIV. So there's a large population of patients that should be screened. What is the calcium score and how does that help you in determining whether someone is at risk? So calcium score is new technology and I'm happy to say the Florida Medical Clinic offers that technology. And, and just a sentence before that, we used to use a risk calculator. We'd add everything up, all these, you know, these factors and we'd get a percentage and we'd, and we'd classify you at high risk or low risk. And uh, so it was based on percentages. We were treating large populations to, to treat a certain percentage. The calcium score is a 10-second CT scan that sees the heart. 
and it sees the plaque. It's kind of like the mammogram, mm -hmm. you know, which has been around for years. We get to see inside. We get to make an early diagnosis so we can tell you definitively whether you have the problem or not. And one of the beauties of the test is being able to make a precise diagnosis and to exclude the problem so to avoid you know, a lot of unnecessary treatments. What can people do day to day uh, in, you know, in addition to diet and exercise to keep the heart healthy? Okay, so we're away from medical evaluation yeah. and um, because the key to treating this is is medications you know lifestyle is very important as well so lifestyle includes diet and exercise so from a diet standpoint dieting is very difficult so there are a number of basic principles of, and that is to try and be as healthy as you can the portfolio diet is very popular and it recommends several oily fish meals six to eight fruits and veggies a day some almonds and walnuts every day Use the use of polyunsaturated uh, fats like uh, olive oil, um, avoiding the trans fats, you know, which are prepared foods, cookies, and crackers. Exercise is very important. National guidelines recommend uh, 30 to 45 minutes of moderately vigor vigorous exercise. Hey, five, and six walking days a counts week. as exercise. It's actually pretty good a exercise, isn't it? Absolutely. And so you should strive for, I say, a two mile walk every day. Every day. Wow. Or you can just dance with our fan dancer. Right. You, uh, or you could dance. Hey, talk a little bit, Doctor, about uh, working with Florida Medical Clinic because you all are so integrated together as a, a group. I mean, it must make it very easy to be able to deal with patients across the different disciplines. Oh, it's a wonderful place to work. And it's like you say, we were spread out all over Hillsborough and Pasco County. So if a patient lives in, in a particular location, they can see a doctor nearby of a specialty. They're, we're not all in one place. We have four cardiology offices, for example, and we can pick and choose. We all have different expertise. You know, I'm a preventive cardiologist. They're imaging specialists and heart failure specialists just in the area of cardiology. We have uh, a huge collection of outstanding primary care physicians you know, who manage these patients. To learn more about the latest advances in patient care and medical research, you can visit Florida Medical Clinic online at floridamedicalclinic.com. While you're there, you can locate the office nearest you. You can learn about their doctors and even request an appointment. Hey, but wait, everybody, there's more. Florida Medical Clinic is sending you on a weekend road trip. Visit their Facebook page. Sign up to win a $100 gas card. Florida Medical Clinic. Don't wait. Sign up now. Doctor, thank you for being here. Thank you. Coming up next, if you're looking for an evening out with both food and energy, Entertainment. Check out the deal, chicken deal of the day. It's just for you. Feast your eyes on the food of St. Pete Nights when Studio 10 returns. This segment was sponsored by Florida Medical Clinic.